Hey, what is going on? It's here here streaming the Transformers Earthrise Generations Voyager Class Snapdragon. Um, this is a horror. This he's the second horror out of the two that we got. And we got we got Eight Face and Siege, and now we got Snapdragon Earthrise. Really, really liking the way this guy looks. He's just such a stellar figure. Um, we're not going to take a look at the box, because I did take a look at that in my last video. Check that out. Unboxing Snapdragon. Um, I got this guy at Walmart. There was, like, a crap ton at Walmart. There was, like, at least five there. And I took one of the five, so now there's four. At least four. And there was a double de dealer there, so just know that these guys are popping up in uh, some Walmarts, uh, uh, Targets maybe, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, this is a really nice figure. Let's take a look at the, oh, let's just, oh, man, how do we use it? Yeah. Let's take a look at the head. Head, it's nice. It's got the purple mouth plate, the uh, red visor. Uh, he's a headmaster or titan master or whatever it is. Headmaster. Um, Septicon symbols there. Uh, overall, really, really nice looking figure. It's pretty wonderful. Um, articulation wise, his arm is on a you can go full 360. If you just move out the way a little bit, it can do that. The arms will move actually out pretty far. I thought they were going to be hindered due to like this giant cone thing, but they're not actually. The elbows are a little bit hindered because of how circular these are. They don't. Uh, they're this is a little bit. This is a little bit too long, so it's really hard for the elbow to go through. So it's it's not really possible. He comes with uh, two guns that go in my figure really nice and tight. Um, he comes with two. Guns, they're identical. Um, they're purple. They're pretty cool. Um, I think they're pretty cool. These, I really do like them. Um, so for some size comparisons, here he is with Siege, a face. That's how you look at the horror combos. That's my custom Siege. Sound wave. There we go. And my custom combiner wars uh booty kiss. So here he is with the uh, Minor Wars Rudicus. Um, so I think it's really all we need to discuss about the actual robots. So I say let's just get into the uh, the transformation, shall we? And if you need help with it, you can watch our video or go to the print instruction manual. This is my first time actually transforming the guy. So obviously you're just gonna want to remove his. Oh yeah, his Titan Master. I completely forgot about that. Um, so here is his Titan Master. Um, I can't remember his name right now. He's a Titan Master. It's actually really nicely painted. I'm looking at the head. He's got pretty much the same face as Snapdragon, or it's very similar at least. That's uh, not bad. Uh, transformation, transformation, just transforms into his head. Like so, yeah, nothing crazy. All right, so transformation on this big boy or this boy. I'm gonna pop the head up. I'm gonna bring down. We're gonna fold up his feet. Then you're gonna want to bring this around. This is how we're going to shuttle shuttle mode, by the way. Uh, both sides. Just bring that down. It's on a double hinge, so make sure you're getting that correct. And you're going to fold 
out this little landing gear bit. Malfunction, malfunction. So I have to hit the camera. So I'm just going to bring these around and you're going to want to tab them together. Just like so. And then I'm going to want to bring the chest up. Hold on. I want to bring the chest up just like this. That's going to go in there. There's actually tabs. That's going to tab in to the chest. There you go. And it's going to want to. It doesn't untab itself. So spin his elbow, his biceps all the way around. Spin that up. Oh, and then you're going to want to keep it like that. There you go. Oh, that doesn't tab in too securely on my copy. Um, there's Snapdragon in his gem mode, and that actually looks... Oh, never mind, it does snap in pretty securely. Um, that looks so good. Holy cow, oh, that's not tapped in correctly. Eh, we good? Maybe we good? Just gonna open it up. Oh, that snaps in, okay. I'm gonna snap those in, I guess. Sure. And here's the gem mode. Um, in, in my opinion, this is way, way, way better than 8 Faces gem mode. And probably my favorite fa gem modes in the, the entirety of Earth, of Earth Rising Siege. Looks just really good. It can land on the ground. So you can't have that going. You can also, if you want to, you can plug in the guns underneath it. Do the same with both of them. If you really wanted to. Personally, I am, I'm not actually a very big fan of that. That doesn't look too pretty. And I was, was going to move this. It's actually not the worst underside. Um... It's not horrible, but it's not great. It's a bit hollow in the back. Um, see right there? It's a bit hollow. Um, but yeah, overall, a really, really, really nice jet mode. The wheel it doesn't roll, it's a fake wheel. But, and that can also go back in if you want it for some actual flying action. And if you open up this... These little bits. Actually, a little bit of detail in there. That's really cool. And you get some keypads, some buttons. Pretty average. And then you can actually grab his Titan Master. Get him in a seating position. Just like so. There you go. And. Oh, you don't want to get this extra. And he can just sit in there. Just like so. He sits in there actually pretty deep. Um, and those can just uh, snap right back up. That can snap right back up. And there you go. Now his little headmaster can just be flying through the air. That's actually really cool. I do like, and I also like the way it opens up. Like, it's not just your average pull up something and it comes out. You have to open like both the side doors. That's that was a little tight. Okay, I'm scared. Why is it why is it here so tightly? And I just snapped the entire thing off. It's not broken, I just snapped it off. Yeah, it is named Snapdragon. God dang it. I'm trying to get it back snap back on. It's in there tight, like. It's in there really, really freaking tight. There we 
There we go. Yeah, I'd be careful with that one, at least for some copies, because that one was way too tight. Holy cow. Um. Yeah, why is it going there so tightly? I have no idea why. We're going there really tight. So I guess that's good. Um. So now we're going to take a look how to get Snapdragon into his uh, dragon mode. Or his banister mode thing. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this up and just fold out the uh, the dino feet by just doing that. There you go. Fold out his dino feet. Um, you're going to come back here and you're going to want to open up his chest. You're going to want to open up that metal piece right there. Or the entire thing, actually. Hold on. Oh, wrong tab. You're going to want to open up this. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. And you're going to fold out his uh, dino head. It looks a little, a little weird right now, but uh, I promise you, uh, you'll understand the whole gimmick of this you know, later. So you see he's got his arms tucked. You see he's got his arms tucked away. He's going to want to extend them out. They are Oh, we're not tied down for some reason. So, get the arms. There's some really tight ball joints, I guess. So there you go. And you're actually going to want to bring down the chest and you're going to want to, that should snap in. Hold on. Remember, this is my first time transforming this guy at all, so. Oh, there we go. There you go. I'm just going to bring this down and around. Just like. I'm just going to bring his uh, wings back. You can see, and there is his dino mode. Oh, wait, nope. You gotta put it on his guns. Just like so. Put on both sides. They're like those cool little shoulder cans. I don't like those, like, these type of beast modes. And you're probably wondering. His jaw looks a little funny. That's because the whole gimmick of this thing is you get the guy and you see there's little slots in there and you're supposed to just it's really hard just gotta plug it in I might have to spin the head around. Sorry if I'm taking a lot of this guy off camera. It's just, uh, it's not as easy as most people would think.
Come on. This is a lot harder than it looks. Cause little. Oh, we good? we may be good and there's snapdragon that's a lot harder than it looks so the, the point is you're supposed to put the little guy in his mouth and that becomes like his teeth right there it pulls off the illusion okay i guess um but he really reminds me of Trypticon. um looking at him he really does that's most likely just me but he really reminds you of Trypticon. um which is cool, I guess, in a way. I like Trypticon. Uh, I have him. The Patrick Trim one. That's a really good one, by the way. I would bring him out, but I don't know if my desk can even fit him. So that's probably never going to happen, unfortunately. Um, but he's not a bad dino mode. He's a bit kibble-heavy, saying you basically got a spaceship underneath him, the guy. Um, so let's have them. Where should we go? I wasn't tapped in. Um, yeah, his dino arms are on ball joints. They're also on swivels. You can also open like this. You can also bend if you want to. He kind of also has a grim walk feel to him. Um, got some hot pink to the chin. The face, overall, really, really nice looking figure. Um, there's not too much to talk about in the dinosaur mode, uh, except for he kind of looks like a banana. Transformation back to robot mode is very uh, fun as well. Just remove his blasters, lift that up, and you're just going to want to untap the legs, just like so. I'm going to bring all that around. Um, you can also be, and one thing I want to talk about, well, actually, we'll talk about that in the finalized review. Um, I completely forgot how I did this. Oh, yeah. So, as you remember, this is on a double hinge. It's actually... This is on a double hinge, and it's actually a really tight double hinge. That's probably why I didn't think much of it. Let's see, on the other side with the really tight hinge. There you go. Now you get them standing again. Come up. Uh, bring this down. Come to the back. Just gonna bring. That's down. Oh yeah, move his headmaster. Or ten. And fold that in. Fold that in. And his hands should just uh go like that. Yeah. That's all gonna just tab in. And you're gonna come back here. You're just gonna wanna Have those in their little slots there that will out like to have that in. And just like so, here go. Spin the elbows around, bring them down. Spin the elbows around, bring the hands down. There you go. go ahead just fold that up and down that's gonna go oh, yeah you want 
I mean, I guess that could work. Could it? It can't. I just don't think it goes in there as tight as it did before. Yeah, that snaps in. I'm just giving him his guns. Yeah. That's still a challenge today. They go in there really nice and tight, which is what I like. I'd rather have them go in there tighter. Oh, do we not do posability? I think we forgot to do posability. Okay, we're gonna get his posability right now. Um, his head is on a ball joint, and it's really articulate due to the fact that it's hit the Titan Master. Arms move out that far, and they don't go in at all. Uh, bend at the elbow, bicep swivel, no wrist swivel. Oh yeah, he does have a waist swivel, actually. I can't even do a full 360, which is very nice. Legs move up that far. Moves up that far and back pretty far as well. Legs move out over. <laughs> legs move out pretty good. Uh, thigh swivel. Uh, a little over 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And ankle pivot. So, this guy's actually pretty posable. Uh, definitely a lot more posable than, uh, what's his face? Ape face. And so, yeah, that is my review on the Earthrise Snapdragon. Should you get him? Uh, yeah, this is a depending one. This isn't like one of the characters that's like kind of like you need, you kind of need them in your G1 collection. Like Starscream, Soundwave, Shockwave, characters like those, like, those are characters that need, that should be a part of your G1 collection. Um, he's great for a G1 collection. But he's not really necessary. He's not one of the main, main, main characters. He's still a main character, just not as main as the other ones. Um, but I really do like him. I really like this figure. Um, if you have eight faces, like a, oh, this is like kind of like a must get because they're bros. It's like getting um, Cliff Jumper. No, that's that's not that good of a one. It's like getting the Decepticon twin pack, but you're only getting one of the twins. I, I don't know. Or, you know, getting Reflector and only getting one Reflector. Um, that's pretty much how this is. So, you know, if you have him, if you have Ape Face, you should get him. If you have Snapdragon, um, I could really pass on Ape Face if I have the, if I really wanted to. But I like Ape Face, so he's, he's pretty cool. But this is definitely way more posable and better than Ape Face. So, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Comment if you found this guy or already have him from I mean retail store or like an order online. But um anyway leave a like, subscribe, comment, and see you all later. I love Snapdragon Dragon by the way. Goodbye.